Greetings and welcome to a very special edition of Factorio. I'm not going to play for you today, but I'm going to share with you my gift uh, to you. I have been working so hard on this massive um, blueprint, complete blueprint set for Factorio. And I wanted to kind of show you what I have, show you what's available within the blueprint set. Um, and hopefully kind of give you an idea of how to use things. So um, I have this book. It's called the KOS Factorio Framework System. And uh, you can use this and it's very versatile. Use it on any map you want. And it has some big things. It's got some little things. It's got lots of cool stuff. I've tried to put it in order of what you would use first, like production. Uh, you have early game, mid game, late game, end game, and oil. I have all of these things or most of the things on this map. And I kind of want to just show you the map itself. So first of all, we have, uh, we actually have a starter base, which I didn't put on the map yet. Let's do that. Let's go into production. Also, I'm in editor mode on this. You can just in the console type slash editor. Um, editor mode is weird because it like pauses the game. Um, but if you turn it off, it'll start up again. Um, but you can put in like infinity chests and other things so that you can test what you are creating. Uh, so anyway, let's go into production early game. And I have early game steam with just two uh, boilers. Then we have the full version as well. Then I have the starter base. Let's just plonk that down over here and I'll show you what that's about. This is basically what you can start off with when you first start the game. It'll make for you um, some uh, inserters and belts, miners, assemblers, uh, power poles, all kinds of things, grenades um for clearing trees of course uh are the real enemy and it also does some science so this is quite a nice little array uh and we do have the instructions here on what is added so what you need to do make sure you're in settings go to interface and make sure all of the alt mode stuff is checked on especially combinator settings and then what you want to do is click on alt mode here uh, it turns it on and off. So you really want to turn that on and it shows you what you need. So this is the symbol for cop, uh, for uh, iron ore. So iron ore goes in here. Uh, coal goes in on that belt and then copper ore goes in here. Uh, so that's a really great uh, thing to start off the game with is a starter base. Next, we have the mall. Now, this mall is massive and it's really difficult to build without having bots. So what I've done is we have the belt array, which is really useful, very simple to build as well. Um, I don't know why these are not on there. That's very strange, but they should be <laughs> they should be correct in doing the blue version of stuff. Um, and then we have also, there's also instructions on how to change the mall into this late game version with the buffer chests and stuff. So if you use the correct chests, there is an upgrade planner within this thing. It's right here. So you start off with the early game mall with all the, the yellow belts and stuff. And then you see the space on the left there. That's for machines that you're not going to need until late game. But then you can add all of this stuff, which is like spider trons and power armor and all that kind of stuff. Um, and if you use the correct chests, like you see, these are steel chests and some are going to be iron chests. Like this one is an iron chest. Um, those are important because the upgrade planner looks at those specific chests and changes them into the correct thing. So the next thing, oh, actually, probably I need to fix this blueprint actually because uh, it will be fixed in the version that you have. Um, those are just going to be the blue belts. I think I built it uh, where I didn't have the research yet and I just blueprinted it. Anyway, what I've done instead of this massively complicated mall, I've created what I call boutiques. And this will create everything up until the end of mid game it even has solar panels and, and accumulators at the end normally i don't have those but uh, this one has them and then there are the the chests on the right hand side which you can kind of skip until you get to that point where you get the robots um this is the military boutique we have lasers and gun turrets and stuff um so those are all in there now I have an extensive, extensive uh, library of different train stations. So this one here, and they're all labeled. This is for beaconed, uh, beacons and smelting. So all of these things. So basically you have one train coming in uh, to uh, receive copper or um, 
the iron ore, you can change the signal. Basically, this prevents contamination of the lines in case a train stops here. Uh, and this is the loading station for whatever you're getting back from it. We have a shunting yard right here. Um, so you can have many trains lined up to come in here. And all of them are tuned to the specific length of train that you have here. You know, these are for four length trains. I do have larger ones as well. This one, for example, is for mining. So you put this next to your mine and it loads the cars on both sides. It's super, super quick loading. Uh, and each of the stations has a building station. Now I have uh, the uh, building uh, station. Oh my God, I realized it didn't finish it. Oh, I got to go back and do that. But anyway, we'll get to there. Uh, we have the building train. Train, and the building train is a train that goes around to all these different stations and helps actually build the entire station and the mines and whatever you've got going on here. And these, uh, the things are tuned to whatever you need. So this one needs lots of belts. Okay. No assemblers. We don't need assemblers or um, other things. Um, we need just, these are just like basic things that we need. And we also request fuel at this place. You can have a train that's just delivering fuel in the first car coming out to deliver stuff. And this one has a lot of miners. Okay. We have a lot of miners on this one, but like no pipes and stuff. That's a mining outpost. And then we have other things. So these are three different, uh, belts, uh, speeds of mining outposts. They're all in there. We have the shunting yards that you can put down. Um, and then at the end of this one, we have more stuff here. We've got a nuclear plant. This is to go next to nuclear stuff. And I have all the nuclear bl blueprints in the, um, in the folder. You can also look at my nuclear tutorial to learn how to place those. Um, we have a uranium mining place where you collect sulfuric acid up here and you get, um, ore, and also you deliver ore into, um, a, a, um, we have the blueprint for that uh, in here as well, which is, is it? No, these are resources. We have the uranium mining. Um, no, I need the production. Where is it? I think it's under late game. No, nope, might be mid game. I always forget. Where is it? I've forgotten now. Oh no, this is turning out <laughs> a little bit crazy. Uh, is it power? Nuclear! There it is! Ah! So we have ore processing, which is this one right here. So this one would kind of go above here. Um, and then here we have, here's one of our mining things. Uh, these are regular mines, but I also have a nuclear mining thing that is connected with pipes. These guys are really cool. I have blueprints and I've labeled them as snap blueprints. Okay. So what you do is you get your um, mining drill snap stamp. Okay. That one, if they have a green border, that means they can be snapped together. So what you do is you hold shift and press click drag, right? Okay, let's do this properly here. Click and drag, and you can just paste it all over the place like this. It's crazy. It's good. Good stuff. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and Z that control Z get rid of it. But yeah, you can just click and drag over the entire patch. So it's really good. Uh, I also have just simple stations. This is unloading on the right. This is unloading on the left. Um, and then other train stations. These could be used as base stations, that kind of thing. Um, I have, I know my train stations are beloved across the world and I've always been asked for them. I always said, no, you should build your own because it's more fun, but then people keep asking. So you know what? I give you the gift of train stations. I am giving you the, all of them, all of them. I have many of, I have worked hundreds of hours on these train stations. Oh, here's the starter base. We did actually paste it. Okay. And here's a solar uh, delivery place. I have included um, Avon's amazing, amazing solar blueprint. I love it. It looks really nice on the landscape and it is an absolutely perfect ratio. Well, I did take out the, one of the solar panels in the center to put a radar. So that, uh, otherwise it's perfect. It is absolutely perfect. And he did it amazingly. So this is the base station. I'm going to fix this. So there's no gap here. Um, but this is like a base station. It has the building train on here with the cars that are filtered correctly. Um, we have different materials coming in coal, iron, uh, iron, copper, uh, stone, and then we have oil to come in as well. And then this, they're all labeled all of these things, base fuel train pickup. So this one is meant to pick up solid fuel to deliver to other train stations where you want to, you know, send fuel to make sure the trains don't run out. Now this one is our solar train. You can see here 
And we have also labels for stuff. So this is like a half belt of, uh, oh, why did I do that? That's strange. Okay, let me just fix that. I will do this like this. I, I like, why did I do that? It's strange. Okay, there we go. Yep, there we go. So half and half a belt of those. And this one is fuel coming in. I try to label everything so that it is easy to tell. So this is a wall repair station, which is going to be uh, getting stuff for uh, lasers and walls to make sure the biters don't eat your, eat your stuff. Um, and then we have this one is the wall station itself. So this is the one that unloads for the wall. We also have like bots coming in and stuff like that. Um, and then this one is pump jacks. Uh, I've also included the huge pump jacks uh, blueprint um, in this. So we have, I think it's in oil. There it is, oil right here. So here's this one. You can just like shift click this. And so you, all the pump jack um, ghosts will be or or if you're close enough, they'll they'll actually be pump jacks. But it's easier to do this because sometimes the, the oil patches are hidden under the evil trees. So this is really handy. Uh, I also have two-way pipes, refinery collection. This is from Factorio Prints to do different kinds of arrays. But I do have my own. So this is the base oil um, for like starter oil section uh, with combinators and everything. Then we have, this is a beaconed oil that makes lots of plastic and uh, lubricant and sulfuric, sulfuric acid, but that's a very end game because you have all the beacons and stuff. Beacon solid fuel, beacon plastic, a small one. Uh, and then we have the huge oil outpost, which has the trains and everything on it. We'll get to that in a second. So this, this one is a, an assembly line. So we have lots of trains coming in. So the trains coming in on the coil, the reason I use a coil here instead of the shunting yard is because um, I have had instances where I'd have like four trains waiting in the shunting yard and then each train would go and then number four was waiting and then train number one would come back and steal steal the the whatever it, it was green circuits or whatever so train number four never got the product so that's why i have the incoming ones on the coil and they can wait in line to get the product that's coming out of this i have like one two three four for different intermediates to come in but you can delete those as you like so now we have the crown jewel of stuff. Uh, this is modules, beacon modules. That's just, that's not the crown jewel. Crown jewel is all of these science setups, right? So I've done all the trains for you. I've done all the setups. These are beaconed and roboted things. These are very end game. And we have red and green science. Um, they do 1000 science per minute and they are tested and they work. So red and green and then blue and gray are here. And then we have um, purple and yellow right here. They are, you can see how massive they are. This is big. Uh, but I, like I said, I have tested them. They work. Uh, this one is labs. Okay, so this is a lab setup where you can have your trains come in and they unload the science packs at each of these stations. And we have the undergroundies here and these are just going to give you, um, yeah, science, science. These are science. And this, this is white science. <laughs> I even did a very special um, light show for you. If we get out of editor mode. Oh, and we also probably need a one of these. Look at this. Is this not great? Okay, to set up the light show, you do need to put a tiny locomotive on the outside ring here of the swirly. You see the little loco locomotive spinning around? You need to put that because that's what the lights are tuned for. But yeah, we, uh, we've done this. This is cool. Anyway, next thing is, let's go back to editor mode here. And then we have other things. We have huge shunting yards for like 181 trains. And that's like what this is for getting massive amounts of ore because some of these stations are quite big as you see like this one because it needs massive amounts of ore and stuff. Uh, this here, what is this? This is some kind of smelting down here. Oh yes, this is uh, red chips. Red chips, belted red chips. It is a absolutely beautiful thing. You'll love uh, this station because it has white and green like chips going. It's perfect. It's so good. It's like a candy cane. I love that one. Um, and then we have other things. This is kind of a special station. This is a train creation station. So what you do is we have the building train go here 
And this is a depot basically. And so what you do is you get a train started. Let's go here and get some cars. Okay, so you put down a, a locomotive, right? And then you can put down cars, right? So let's just have one, two, three, four. Now you can use the fish book for filtering, or I have put down all of these cars which match the combinators there. So if you want, say, copper plates, let's shift click it, right? And then we shift click left and all of them are magically filtered. Well, it's not magic. It's just shift clicking, but shift click right to copy shift click left to paste. And that is the train depot. Now then we have this parking, uh, this, this thing makes blue chips. And again, it's a belted thing. Just bring in what the, uh, what the things say. So we have red circuit drop off and other things. Okay. And now this is another gorgeous thing. I just love these designs and that's why I'm sharing them with you because they're just pretty darn cool. And this one has this even loading station that Avon and I figured out, uh, actually he was doing all the, the combinator stuff on that, but it's pretty cool. It's, it's big, it's massive, but it's just beautiful. I love watching the belts go. And this is the oil place. We have many, many pickup things. I'm going to put an extra pickup as well because I have a train that needs half sulfuric acid and half lubricant. Uh, but all of that will be in the blueprint book. So anyway, um, I give you the gift of my train stations. I think these are my most precious Factorio possession. And um, I hope they inspire you. I hope you like things. I've done different kinds of, you know, like these guys go from the shunting yard to one station. This, we have this cool thing where they can go to two different stations with the chain signals and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of stuff in the blueprint book that I haven't even shown you. We have like artillery defense. You park an artillery train there and it defends you against the biters and stuff. We have dragon's teeth walls. We have snappable walls. Uh, we have this turret creep thing. Uh, that everybody uses belts and balancers. Now, most of these things are not my creation, but I thought I would include them because people always ask about them. I also have a belts quick book, which I uh, often, the quick books like the rails quick and, and belts quick, I put on my hot bar usually because they have handy things in them. Like we've got corners in here um, and we have balancers that I usually use, uh, stuff that's just very handy to have. Um, the malls are there. I showed you that the rails are massive. We have the belted rail outposts here, all of these things. Um, and then the production areas are in the production thing, uh, folder. Uh, we have power, we've got science things. All of those things are there. Uh, we have even car science. If you want to use that, I love that. It's so fun, but yeah, we have these late game we have regular blue circuits and then end game stuff lots of things for you to explore and enjoy. And I hope you kind of like, I hope you, you, you learn how to make your own blueprints. That's my hope. Um, I know that a lot of people always ask about my blueprints and, um, you can have them. They're here again. It's, I call it the KOS Factorio framework. It is so versatile. You can just do any map with them, place things anywhere you want and everything connects seamlessly it, and it just works. So Anyway, uh, thank you so very much for joining me and I hope you enjoy the blueprint book. Again, you can get it on the community server if you're on the Switch. Um, go, come to my Discord and the community server information is in there. Uh, if, if you can't find it, just ask. Um, and for PC players, we have the blueprint book in my Google Drive, which is listed in the, um, in the description of this video. So thanks so very, very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other. And I'll see you next time.